Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. Here I am, dressed to the nines, looking like someone you might recognize. Unfortunately, the sad news came to us today that the wonderful Kentaro Miura has unfortunately died tragically at the age of 54. Now, if you're not sure who Kentaro Miura is, don't be afraid. Like, I'm sure there are several people in the world that don't know that. He is basically a wonderful dark fantasy manga artist and is responsible for uh, Berserk. If you don't know what Berserk is, I highly recommend you watch that anime or look at the manga. Get involved, you will not regret it. If you like blood and guts, literally, then you're going to be in for a real good time. So uh, yeah, how does this relate to Final Fantasy XIV? Well, a bunch of people on a subreddit have decided to actually make a big deal out of this and sort of commemorate his life in the game. Now, you might be thinking, why why Final Fantasy XIV? Well, like many other video games, uh, Kentaro Mura has uh, inspired a lot of game devs, okay? When it comes to big, massive, like, labyrinthine-sized swords that could cleave through the universe, that's pretty much where... Uh, a lot of that inspiration is said to come from. And in Final Fantasy XIV, the Dark Knight job, as you can see, uses big, massive broadswords. Um, Dark Souls has been inspired. You know, lots of people who create games and other pieces of art in Japan and around the world have been inspired by this wonderful individual's creations. And so the subreddit decided that they were going to commemorate the wonderful Kentaro Miura and his life by marching around and making lines in the game today on pretty much all servers, all data centers. People are taking part and they're coming here with their best looking glamours for Dark Knight and they're basically creating a line. So this was my little attempt, obviously something you've probably seen a, a lot of people wear before. Dressed here a little bit like the char character Gatsu or Guts from Berserk. And we're going to have a walk around the wonderful Uldoir and see what uh, what people have come up with. I believe Ragnarok isn't going to be any different. There we go. Oh my goodness. How cool is this? And there's someone else with uh, a wonderful glamour. We're just going to have a look at some glamours. There we go. There's an Elizan. Obviously, I'm a female Makote, but that doesn't mean I can't be a part of this. There we go. Lots of Dark Knights. How cool is this? This is the player base. At its absolute finest, I think, isn't it? It really is. How amazing is this? Oh, and all the people... It was all activated in unison because of the emotes, look. We've got everything from the ultimate weapons. We've got the relic weapons. We've got the resistance weapons. This is just absolutely incredible and i really just wanted to share this and immortalize it in some of some sort of video um for the future so that we can remember what the final fantasy 14 community is capable of there's the diamond weapon look you could spend forever just looking up and down at all these wonderful people's blades there's the sayu spine look which is beautiful and glowy how cool is this this is so cool but so many people, and this, so many people have come out to actually take part in this. Some people don't have a Dark Knight. That's fine. You're still paying homage, you know, bringing a scythe here. Now, Kentaro Mira was a massive, massive proponent of dark fantasy, like I say. There's seriously nothing else you can really say about the man other than he is just a pure legend. And he will go down as one of the biggest influences of cultures like this and influences on games and other media and anime and manga. Everybody in the community has come to to basically their own cities to pay their respects to this wonderful legend. And it's so nice to see. It really is. It really is. Look at this with all the uh, the fire, the campfire minions there, the bonfires. How awesome. How absolutely awesome. Wow. I'm kind of afraid of walking down the middle, but we're going to do it anyway. Just because of how awesome some of these outfits actually are. 
But yeah, like I say, if you've never seen any of Kentaro, uh, Kentaro Miura's work before, definitely Berserk is something. The anime is fantastic. I love the anime. I uh, I have the box set with the movie. And uh, the uh, yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's so nice to see. And so many of these are so accurate as well. But it's it's more about celebrating the influence that this wonderful man has brought upon the games industry and manga and animation and yeah it's it's truly spectacular isn't it it's also really nice if anybody wants to actually come by and see good examples of weapons forget going to something like garland tools as a website come down here to your local city state uldar and uh check out some of the wonderful designs wow you get some good ideas for some glamour as well whilst you're at it but how cool is this <laughs> and a lot of people will be coming down here lots of people are taking pictures and presumably filming this for videos so you can say that you were there you know how amazing does this feel to walk through Aldar with all of these bonfire minions and of all of these amazing amazing outfits we got La Lady Dimitrescu with a blade there <laughs> it's amazing uh, dear. And I think that's where the end of this line is. But uh, I don't know how many people are on screen right now. But it is quite a lot, isn't it? It really is just phenomenal. I can't believe this. I'm just going to have one more walk down. It almost feels like I shouldn't be walking down the middle of this. Like I'm desecrating this. But I sure I'm giving the utmost respect. But it feels almost like... Um, you know, I'm walking down here as, as the true guts or something, but <laughs> there we go. But how cool is this? I'm so glad that I decided to come and film this. It just is. It, I can't get over this community sometimes. It's capable of such wonderful things and also some terrible things at the same time. But the wonderful things such as this just, yeah. And a lot of these blades plunged into the bonfires as well, much like, you know, obviously Dark Souls was massively inspired by this wonderful individual, but just look at the range of different weapons there actually are here. And I definitely intend to join in and uh, AFK for a little bit and pay my respects. How fantastic. How fantastic. I love these at the end here. This just looks like the, the most colourful section here, look, with all the purples and reds. So cool. <laughs> wow absolutely incredible it is really nice though to see what the community is capable of and yeah I, other servers are like this we could hop to many other servers but I, I think you get the gist of how incredible this really is and how incredible people are when it comes down to it so we'll summon our bonfire minion. Let's see if there's a bonfire minion on where, where it is on my bars, actually. Uh, bonfire. What's it called? Campfire, right? There it is. Wanderer's Campfire. There we go. And now, our glamour and our place in line is complete. This is fantastic. Everyone involved in this should seriously pat themselves on the back. I've never seen anything quite as amazing as this in the game, ever. And I, it makes me truly happy to be a part of this community. It really does. Anyway, let me know what your server looked like. I'm sure there's lots of pictures that are going to flood social media. Let them flood. Share with your best pictures the rest of the world. Let me know what you think about this. And I'll see you all next time. Much love. Stay safe and enjoy yourself.